Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today I'm so excited to show you one of the biggest new changes in iPadOS 26, the brand new Windows feature. If you've ever wished your iPad could work more like a computer with apps that open in their own resizable windows, you're going to love this update. And don't worry, I'll walk you through step by step so you can feel comfortable using it even if you've never tried multitasking before. Let's get started. In earlier versions of iPadOS, we had split view and slide over to juggle apps. Those worked, but they were a little confusing and felt limited. Now with iPadOS 26, Apple has given us a much simpler way apps can open in their own windows, just like on a Mac or PC. That means you can move, resize, and arrange the apps however you like. Here's how it works. We're going to open any app like we normally do. So for right now, let me open Safari. And we're going to gently swipe up from the bottom to access the dock. But before we do that, if we want to have multiple windows open, you want to resize this window first. So if I go ahead and just open another app, let me just show you what will happen. If I just open another app, you're going to see that it immediately covers. And if I swipe halfway up the screen, it's still there, but they're full screen. So let's go back to Safari because that was the app we opened first. And you'll see in this bottom right corner, there's a little half moon circle. Just drag it and you can resize the window this way. Now, when we come back into the dock area or we can even go to uh, the app library, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and open the notes app from the dock area. Now I can resize this window and you're going to see behind it is Safari that we've already opened. And let's go ahead and drag one more. So this time, instead of opening, I'm going to drag and just drop it. And again, we're going to resize the mail app. So instead of squeezing side by side, iPadOS 26 will pop it into its own floating window. You can open multiple apps this way, such as mail, Safari, Notes, Messages, all in their own separate windows. The best part, you're not stuck with the screen splitting in half anymore. To move any of these windows, all you need to do is grab this top bar of the app and drag it to where you want it to go. And then I can position the windows anywhere I want. So let me tap on Safari and I'm just going to drag it below. And I can also continue to resize if necessary. I can move the Notes app up here. I could move this down here to the middle to give it a little more room. So Anytime you want to resize, just grab the corner and you can grab any corner. So I can grab any corner that I want to inward or outward and take it back to full screen if I want. So if I want to go to full screen, I can just double tap on the top bar and it'll snap it into full screen. And then if I want, I can go ahead and grab this line and drag it back down and position that window wherever I want it to be. This makes multitasking much easier because you can set up your screen exactly the way you like it. Here's an example. Let's say you're planning a trip. You can keep Safari open in one window to look up hotels or places you want to visit. You can have the Notes app open in another window to jot things down. And maybe you want the Mail app open to be able to, you know, send a message out. So let me show you. I created a little message here. 
So maybe you want to open the mail app and have a message ready to send to your friends so that you can plan your vacation. Or maybe you're following one of my iPhone tutorials. You can have YouTube playing in a small window on the side while keeping the settings app open to follow along step by step. This flexibility is a game changer, especially for those of us who like to work at our own pace without flipping back and forth between screens. Now you might be thinking, Ellen, what if I get lost with too many windows? Don't worry, Apple has made that simple too. What we want to do is swipe up from the bottom edge of the iPad screen just a little bit, and you're going to see all of your floating windows appear in a layout called the window picker. From there, you can tap to switch. So I can tap to bring one to the forefront. Let me swipe up again. I can close the ones I don't need. So if I tap on one, and I tap, this is almost uh, like working with a Mac up in the upper left corner. I can come up here and highlight those three dots which you see on a Mac, highlight them and tap the red one, and that will close the windows, or I can bring the important windows to the front. A quick note, the Windows feature works best on newer iPads like the iPad Pro models, iPad Air with the M series chip, and the newer iPads that support iPadOS 26. If your iPad is older, you'll still get the update, but you might not see every advanced multitasking option. So why is this such a big deal? Because it makes the iPad feel like a true laptop replacement. You don't need to be a tech expert to use it. Just drag, drop, and arrange. For seniors especially, this means less confusion and more control. You can keep the apps you need in front of you, make the text bigger by resizing the window, and keep distractions tucked away. That's the new Windows feature in iPadOS 26, a whole new way to multitask on your iPad. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos where I'll dive deeper into other new iPadOS 26 features. If you want a PDF guide to go along with the video, head to ellentipsforios.com and sign up for my newsletter. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.